What's up guys, we're back once again and we're going to be talking about Digimon Adventure 2020 episode 34. Now if you guys have not watched it, I do got, I do recommend you guys click off the video since again, this will be spoiler territory as normal. So you guys already know if you're new to the channel, um, go ahead and click off and go watch the episode and let me know what you guys think. But once again, if you guys have seen the episode, let me know what you guys think and we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Now this episode was very interesting. It was where we actually got to see uh, Padam uh not not Padamon, uh, Gatamon. Uh, I'm gonna keep saying Gatamon, I'm not gonna say Tailsmon, uh, because I grew up with Gatamon, you know that version of the original version, so I'm gonna keep saying Gatamon. But uh, Gatamon apparently, you know, does come across very different in this episode, or so far, because she comes across very uh, headstrong, very determined, very loyal, very courageous than what we are not, well, what from what I remember from how she first started out, which is perfectly fine. But we do get to see where uh, the game goes underwater, and we see where they get into a sea current. They accidentally go into a underwater Digimon dwelling city, and they think that they're there to attack, which they are not. And then later on, they get attacked by a, another group, which they do see is trying to attack them so of course the group they help and then of course the one that is leading the city recognizes Gatamon and the rest of the group and they basically she's like oh okay so you're one of the holy digimon and she says yes and she basically informs them that back during the ancient war that she took them down there uh for peace dwelling and that their ancestors and they are the descendants of their ancestors and they just adapted to this terrain and we see where Kari keeps wanting to help Gatamon, but Gatamon does not want that. He, she wants her to be safe. She doesn't want her in the line of crossfire, which is understandable uh, since, again, they just became partners. But at the same time, she keeps saying, I got to find, I got to defeat M Milamon and be able to find Faga. But we also do see after eating and then resting and then after we see Izzy pop up and basically inform the group that the satellite situation is getting worse in the real world and then we also see where Ty and the rest of the gang says okay is there anything we can do and Izzy says not yet I haven't thought of anything but when I do I'll report back in so they're like okay next day comes uh, the city is about to be moved then of course they get attacked by another kind of Digimon now when they see another kind of Digimon they start basically trying to fight it off, but unfortunately, this Digimon is extremely strong. They have the other Digimon that were attacking earlier attack again. And when this happens, we do see where everyone, of course, evolves and starts fighting. And of course, Gatamon is the first one to, well, one of the first ones to go ahead and start fighting. She tells Kari to stay there. And when that happens, Ty, of course, uh, evolves Greymon into Super uh, Metal Greymon. And when that happens, we do see where Kara tells him, hey, I want to help too. And so he allows her on the battlefield. And when they start fighting, Gautamon is having issues. But then as soon as it almost looks like her champion level is not strong enough. Because you guys got to remember, Gautamon is right now at a champion level. Uh, if you guys don't remember. So uh, she starts trying to say, okay, I got to do this. I got to keep going. And when that happens, Kara basically tells her, you know, hey, I'm here. She says, no, you shouldn't be here. And then they go into this... Uh, the scene where she's jumping to Gatamon and she's basically explaining to her that she's been waiting for her since she was a child, very little, and that she's always been always been hearing her call. Gatamon is saying she's been making the call, been surrounded by darkness for so many years. So that's when they finally accept one another to where it ain't just Gatamon doing, you know, the battling. It ain't just Kari standing there basically being a cheerleader or basically, you know, saying, okay, hey, you can do it or saying, I want to help. It's basically they are partners, they're, they're finally accepting, okay, this is our destiny, we are partners, we are going to continue to be partners. And as soon as they set that, that's when Kara gets her digi device, and when it happens, it seems like uh, Godamon gets a power-up and is able to defeat the other Digimon. And with that being said, it does go into where they do leave the city on good terms, as well as being able to save the city, as well as also being able to show. Now, I don't think... Now, it does end, but at the same time, I don't think that they're going to give Gautamon a evolution uh, right quick. Because, again, it, it gave they gave Padamon a little bit of time before they gave him a evolution. Now, again, as I said before, I don't think we're going to get Angel Woman just yet. If we do, I will be extremely shocked 
Uh, I don't think that we are going to be getting that version. I think we're going to be getting a different version of Gautamon. I think we're going to be getting the version that we got in Season 2 or 3 of Digimon, the original series. Uh, I can't remember the, the correct one at the moment. But I think we'll be getting that one just like how we got Pegasmon. That uh, Patamon is going to normally be using. Uh, just like Gautamon is going to have hers. So overall, I enjoyed this episode. I enjoyed seeing Gautamon with the gang and uh, being able to and just to see... You know the series continue to be able to evolve and, and like i said hopefully that they take th they that they take their time with the evolutions and that they they don't rush it they don't try to push it down your throat and they go at it at a gradually state you know each character going into their mega evolution and being able to at the very end go against the ultimate threat and be able to uh put on a good show be able to put on a good fight and be able to entertain so overall like i said guys i enjoyed it i uh, hope you guys did too if you guys did please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new let me know what you guys saw about the episode in down in the comments and as normal i'll see you guys on the very next video and in the comment section down below